Quando la prova è per il sole stata, la droga marcia è per il sole stata, e badet every vine and switch the core, of which for two and genre is the floor. So begin at the palace of Canterbury. But this is my poem, and this is called So Prick at Him the Tour in Her Garages. Never did help my da enough. Always head stuck in a book. Donald's son, he'd call. Can you hold this while I saw? Ah, oh, da, I'd wail. Me lost in Chaucer and his tail. And so the saw saws, but all I see is yo. The miller was a chap of sixteen stone, a great stout fellow, big and brown and bone. The saw cuts through the afternoon, pauses, then Chaucer's on again. He did well out of them, for he could go and win the lamb at any wrestling show. Say what? Oh, don't get me wrong. I adore this aesthetic beauty of sawdust floating in a universe of its own, suspended in sunlight and shadow. The smell of pine kidnapping my mind. The green dance of the bubble in a spirit level. Didn't have time for all that hammering and sawing. I was a boy on a mission ever since our teacher sighing. Oh, I don't know why I teach you scruff show, sir. You'll never read the book. But by the weekend, furious at the rebuff, I ha ha had. My poor old da only getting begrudging help. Juan that apro. The words falling like gentle rain upon my mind. With his surest sota, the bra, the dropped of march, words, words, oh sweet words, had parsed to the rota. My mind bathed every vine and switch liqueur, the bubble in the spirit level, poised perfectly, perfectly poised, of which for two and children is the floor. Okay. Jerry Sweeney's mammy. I was born at an ex exceedingly young age altogether, and by the time I'd achieved the great age of five, I didn't know anything about the facts of life. I thought the birds and bees were about the, the birds and bees, obviously. Uh, Jan is busily filling me in now. Uh, I suffered under the illusion that a chap could have three mammies, cause, uh, because this was a biological definition. It wasn't, it wasn't a biological. It was an emotional definition, and I thought that a mammy was anybody who, who loved you to that great nth degree. Mm -hmm. So I had my own lovely mother, Rita, I had Lizzie Sweeney up the road, and I had my Auntie Mary down in Cork. And even by that definition, my dad was the best mammy I ever had. Yeah. So my mother had to sit me down and tell me about Mrs. Sweeney. So this is called Jerry Sweeney's Mammy. Mrs. Sweeney was Jerry Sweeney's mammy. <laughs> And even though I had my own, I had her on loan. It was like having a spare mammy. And even when she was mad with us, she just couldn't be mad with us. Go on, she'd ring. Go on. You'd wear the heart out of a stone. And if you fell and you were crying, heart and knee badly grazed or badly bitten by a bee, she would hug you up with all of herself. Ah, come here to me, you poor little dose. Wrap you up in so much love it would last for years, for years. Jerry Sweeney was my best friend ever, way back in the way back then. Still is, nothing's changed, except as young fellas have become our fellas, who still think they're young fellas. And every time I see him, I could almost cry. I can still see his mammy smiling out of his eyes. Yeah. <laughs>